Okay, if you refuse to let gravity or your budget sabotage your creative vision, you're gonna love today's episode. Perfect, wow. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Welcome back to Laugh Cry DIY. I am Katie. This is my very special co-host, Susan. And today we are doing something shocking and scandalous and absolutely unprecedented, which is designing a podcast set. Okay. Oh! <laughs> it's okay. And to design this podcast set, I am welcoming two very special cheap whores to the channel. Hello, I'm Steph Tolev. And I'm Jessica Michelle Singleton. And it we're slobs. slobs. We, uh, we host the podcast Slobs. It's just uh, oversharing, uh, embarrassing, gross stories, being honest, mm -hmm. like with the real experience of being a human. Drops every Monday, go listen. Listen to it, what else are you doing? If you're watching this, you listen. Mm -hmm. I have a chemical peel in case you're wondering if any of the equipment we've used has burned my face. It hasn't. It's very hard to not look at your face. Yeah, it's I'm really sorry. Terrifying. It's Why are we here? Today? We're here because we needed uh, we need a new set. We needed a new set. It was just a black background. It's kind of boring. And like podcast clips are, you know, the new the new thing. <laughs> All the kids are watching them. Where? So we want to yeah. have a nice background. Instead of that black a black curtain blob like yeah, we're right fun, now, colorful yes. people. Yes. I mean, look at her shirt, look at my face. Um, I think we're going for like a retro trailer chic, sort of like... Party vibe, like yeah. hanging outside your uncle's trailer in the summer. Yeah, so we just wanted that, like, yeah, that summertime fun, feeling. Yeah, right? summertime fun hangout feeling. And we are incapable of doing it ourselves. Yeah. I am so excited that Jess and Steph reached out to me. This is super fun. And basically what we're going to do is we are going to set dress to the podcast set, like they said, like a fun trailer park party. So we wanted something fun and bold and colorful and kind of kitschy. And so we have a big idea and that is to actually build a fake trailer facade as their background. So this is what we're building. We're gonna build the little facade of an Airstream trailer. But this is kind of a project from hell because we want something big, we want something bold and bright, but they have to be able to put it up and take it down and they can only actually use nails in the walls to put it up. So how do you build an entire trailer without making something so heavy it would rip out a nail in the wall? It starts with foam. We are here uh, with these massive panels, which we have to cut down into four pieces to fit into the car. Um, and I will say that this is probably the coolest uh, Home Depot in the world because what's behind us? Hollywood sign, baby. And chicken wing bones. How far do I go? As far as she'll go. Yeah. Oh, oh. get that sound. Oh. <laughs> oh. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the king of the world! <laughs> oh. oh, that feels good. That feels good. All right, folks, what you're looking at here is a seven by eight foot frame for our fake Airstream trailer facade. This is two inch foam. We got two panels, we cut them down. And we are going to be working on building this piece in four separate parts because we need each individual part to hang up on the wall on its own. We cut them down, but now we do need to peel off the stickers. Okay, you guys are women in comedy, right? Yeah, sure are. Okay, um, who's your favorite comedy sexual predator? Oh, and um, because we're not using power tools, we will be drinking today. <sighs> this is amazing. Um, yeah. What is this? So this is a Caesar. So for all the Canadians out there, you know what this is. It's like our version of a Bloody Mary. It's clam juice, Worcestershire, hot sauce, pickle juice, a lot of lemon, horseradish, vodka, a little bit of vodka in here. Cheers to Canada. Long live your prime minister. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Long live Trudeau. <laughs> All right, next up, we are gonna be arching the corners of this trailer. And to do that, we need a circular template. And therefore, I am taking decor off of Steph's wall. 
You guys know I am not one for measurement. I say use what you have. These angles are insane. Ooh, baby. Oh, so good. very bad to get foam in your mouth. <laughs> Next up, we have our beautiful trailer facade. We have it with rounded edges. Now, we want to cut a window into it for two reasons. One, we want it to look realistic. Two, uh, the Slobs girls have a Slobs neon sign that they want to put in the middle of it. And we're gonna frame it with this very simple, very light plastic frame, which they're actually gonna command strip onto it. That looks perfect. I'm scared. All right, Steph is making the first cuts. I'm scared. You guys, Steph recently opened for a little, little unknown comic named Bill Burr at an arena with how many people were there, uh, Steph? 19,000. 19,000. I'm honestly more nervous doing this than I was doing that show, I swear to God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Never okay, dedicated you're making me, the way you're, you're sure holding that, <laughs> the way you're holding that is not, that's not OSHA certified. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Nice. I did it! <laughs> wow! I want to acknowledge to the public that we have not been wearing masks and that's bad. So, we're wearing them now. We have a beautiful hole and... Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so we wanna cut out this cute little kind of like hubcap section so that then we can put in a fake little tire, which again will be based on Steph's art. You guys can see it'll be like Ooh. Alrighty, Steph is just cutting out our little tire wheel. So cute. Simple stuff. And we're tracing in our other little cute hubcap. We got a tire! Yeah! What was the last thing you painted? Once when I drank too much yerba mate, I painted a bunch of canvas black. <laughs> so don't drink yerba mate. It's 3 a.m. and I'm like, it feels good! <laughs> Okay, you guys, we have hubcaps, we have windows cut out, we're beautiful. And now we need to add on the paneling to make this look like an actual Airstream trailer. Now, I was thinking, how can we get the texture, kind of the fluting that you would get on an actual trailer made of like metal paneling and make it very light? And then I realized I'm a genius because one thing that looks exactly like that is vertical blinds, vertical blinds super light PVC. And if you put them side by side by side, they actually look like paneling. But how are we actually gonna attach them? This is a product that I have been waiting to use in a makeover forever. Um, the team at Good Hang Up sent them to me. It is a renter friendly hanging system using magnets. Here are stickers. Here are the little magnets that come with that and they stick on. These are meant to be a renter friendly solution so you can put them on drywall or whatever, peel them off. But I thought, one, we needed a way for these panels to stick on and stick off um, because we're gonna be transporting them. So we need to take them apart and then re-put them up together. Secondly, these little magnets look like little bolts. So the idea is we are gonna stick these magnets all along this and then magnet each panel in place. Well, you guys might have suspected that my magnet idea wouldn't work. The problem is that the blinds are a little bit too concave. I thought they were flatter than they are, and therefore, like, the magnet can't stick. Still, shout out to Good Hang Ups, very cool product for um, things you're supposed to use it for, such as art and paper. So I had to run back to Hollywood Home Depot and get something that actually will work. Velcro strips. So I'm putting a little square here, putting a square here, uh, they stick on great. So 
So you can just trim them with scissors. We'll clean those up, but super, super, super easy. Okay, look at it staying on. It's staying on, Let's not see. a problem. Let's we have um, a second guest appearance from Moki. You might remember when we did Jessica's living room makeover. Uh, Moki was such a very good helper, and uh, look who's back. She's back. She hi to the people. So we are now tracing the um, spare edge so that we can hand cut it out and make sure it's beautifully curved. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? It's real. What an absolute, absolute dream gem. Okay, we're gonna clean it up more lately, but we are gonna paint the bottom half of it right now. Okay, this is this shots for wiki feet alone. Oh god, my feet are braided bad on there. I need some better braiding. <laughs> Also, what's great about my ingenious design is that if something gets messed up, chipped or whatever in the place, they can just take off that single panel, touch it up, throw her back on. Easy peasy, seaside satin. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katie's camera. I fell and disconnected my microphone, and because of that, I made her lose a lot of audio. That's why you're gonna see a lot of weird voiceover. Nice. Okay, so the panels are dry, the color is beautiful. We're just here trimming up some edges. So you guys can see here, this is the top of our beautiful, stunning window. And we wanna make a really cute little um, awning, and it will be able to Velcro on and off like everything else. So to do that, we have our strip of foam. We have an Amazon box I stole from my neighbor's dumpster and taped together. We have a black and white fabric, and we have a cute little template because we're not just doing a basic square awning, gross. We're doing scallops. Should I be talking while I do this? <laughs> it's dead, fine. Yeah. Dead silent. <laughs> what a boring. <laughs> so serious. This is I something am. no one has ever seen on camera, which is Steph. Um, Nice. Steph, quiet. <laughs> I'm trying to focus, damn it. And now Jessica is cutting out our scallops and saying very funny jokes about how she's actually suffered from arthritis her entire life. But sadly, you will never hear them, but the scallops look gorgeous. And whenever you're wrapping something round, it actually helps to cut the edge and then do these little kind of like, cut these little tabs in because then you can pull each side like up and position it a little bit easier. And as you can see, Susan is thrilled with the awning. Okay, moving on. So to get these foam panels on the wall, I cut a piece of backing board, I added another wood piece, and then I attached D-rings to all four panels. That way they can hang straight on the wall. Now we're gonna glue each of these panels of backing board to the actual foam using construction adhesive. Now I do wanna shout out the website, this to that which tells you what glue to use if you wanna glue two materials together. I learned that styrofoam is tricky because many glues actually have a solvent that will actually melt the foam. So we're using a Loctite polyurethane adhesive and you better believe I'm putting this panel on upside down. And we are using masking tape to tape it down to clamp it so that um, it kind of self clamps because it needs to clamp for 24 hours. Now in a dream world, we would be able to clamp these separately, but we have to stack them because there's just not enough room. So we are putting a barrier between them and um, crossing our fingers. And we are clamping with a mirror that I found on the streets. Okay. This mirror I found one night in Toronto. I was high on MDMA and uh, I really liked it and I lugged it around for a solid two hours. Needed to have it. Perfect. And now it's a clamp. All right, you guys, we did it somehow. 
We are gonna let that dry. We will be back on install day um, and we hope that you are praying for us at home and very religious. You guys, we have arrived at the world famous comedy store on the Sunset Strip uh -huh. um, in the evening to install this thing. We just wanted to show you something um, kind of cool. So this is me. Uh, yeah, Steph Tolov's name is on the wall at the comedy I'm store. On the wall. So is Jessica Michelle. So yeah. She's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We gotta mean, see she's actually kind of hidden by a bag of cocaine, as it looks like right now, but she is she is down here. Jessica Michelle Singleton. Um, if you guys didn't know, um, if you are a uh, comedian past the store, they put your name on to yep. live as a legend forever. One of the first female Canadians passed in 30 years, so it's uh, a yeah. pretty big deal. Pretty big deal. Yeah. We are at the world famous comedy store podcast studios underneath the comedy store. We are figuring out how to put this thing in. We are assembling the uh, panels in two parts. Movie magic, doing great. So first we're gonna uh, duct tape these together and then we're gonna re-Velcro the pieces over it. ASMR. Oh, look at that. Ugh. We've hit two moments of hell, which we did not anticipate. One, we have a pole hook in the middle that needs to stay. Two, we have a light and a rod. But we're figuring out how we can like hang it the way I intended or if we're gonna lean it or I don't know, but it's real life, so this is behind the scenes. Okay, so new plan, guys. We were gonna hang this all on the wall. Now the idea is because we have all these problems, we are actually going to suspend the top part above um, so that like from where it films, hopefully from your perspective, the uh, perspective is fine. Let's just say it's stylized. We have decided that we're gonna do zip ties, like looped zip ties for now, cause it's what we had on hand. There we go. You got a good squat. You got a good squat. Everybody's doing great. Steph, you're doing great. Okay guys, moment of truth. So we are making a few design choices. They're gonna have to put the bottom piece on the floor and not hang it, suspend it with the tire showing. Um, that's okay. And we are gonna um, lower the window size so that we can fit the neon in um, and adjust things around. So we're working with what we have. You know we love a moment of hell on the channel, so this is very, very on brand. We um, are finally putting on the awning and we cut off this little piece right here. And uh, so we're just gonna get, we got a squeezer from behind. Keep it tight. So not, just stay in like this for five minutes. Last thing, our beautiful neon. Yeah, because it could also even hang like in front. Of, it could yeah. actually hang down in front of this. Guys, we're getting crazy. We're like hanging in midair. It's yeah. um, layers. It's texture. It is layers. It's, it's texture. Fun. It's going to be good. And we had to leave because someone was coming in. Okay, guys, this install has been a little bit chaotic. We've had to make a lot of changes. We've had to work around schedules. We've had to do a lot of things. But we have finally set dress for the entire thing. And we are finally ready for your very exciting big review. All right, you guys, uh, this got a little chaotic towards the end. That's okay, that's real life, that is creative evolution. But this was such a fun project to do. I'm so grateful to Jess and Steph for reaching out to me. Thank you to Susan, thank you to Moki, and thank you to you for watching at home. If you wanna like, like. If you wanna subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, uh, stay slobby. Perfect. <laughs>